Are you a Cox internet customer wondering how it stacks up against the competition? Or are you thinking about using Cox Communications as your home internet service provider? In this Cox Internet Review, we cover Cox Internet plans, price, speeds, and service to help you decide whether or not this ISP is right for you. Let's start with where Cox is available. This FCC coverage map shows in red where Cox is available. As you can see, it's fairly spotty. Both Xfinity Mobile and Spectrum offer wider coverage. And where Cox offers service, it tends to be concentrated in urban areas. So if you live in a rural area in one of the states where Cox offers service, it may not be of the quality you want. It offers service in 19 states in Washington, D.C. In Omaha, where we live, Cox is the only cable internet and high-speed internet provider. While we do also get DSL through CenturyLink here, Cox internet speeds are better, so we have chosen to go with them. So our review includes years of experience with Cox as our internet service provider. To see if Cox is available where you live, go to cox.com backslash residential and enter your address and click the check availability button. Now let's take a look at Cox internet packages, including price and features. Cox offers five packages from Gigablast, which is the most expensive and offers the fastest download speeds to Starter, which is the least expensive and offers the slowest speeds. It's important when considering cost and speed that Cox defaults to showing a discounted price that requires a one-year contract. But you absolutely don't have to agree to a one-year contract to get service. You can use Cox as your ISP on a month-to-month -month basis. When you select that option on Cox's site, you can see that prices go up by $10 a month. When you do that, you see that the starter plan costs $39.99 a month and provides download speeds of up to 25 megabits per second. Looking at the details of that plan, you get up to 3 Mbps of upload speeds and 1.25 terabytes of data included. Cox says this plan is ideal for up to three devices and light web surfing, email, and social networking. Yeah, but is it enough for streaming, gaming, or other activities you want to do at home? And are those speeds accurate? The answer depends on your usage. Is it just you streaming Netflix or some other provider? Or do you have two, three, or more people streaming, gaming, or browsing the internet at once? Checking email, web browsing, and watching video in standard definition doesn't use that much data or require very fast download speeds. Once you start streaming in HD and wanting to stream on multiple screens at once, your speed needs go up. The FCC Broadband Speed Guide recommends 12 to 25 Mbps for three users streaming HD video, video conferencing, and online gaming. If you have two or more people using multiple high demand applications at the same time, you'll want more than 25 Mbps. If you have six people gaming and streaming live TV in your home, you'll probably want to look at a fiber option, which Cox doesn't offer. There are five of us who use the internet for work, school, and streaming and gaming eight hours or more a day, and we have the preferred plan. We pay $88 a month for that, which is well above Cox's advertised non-contract rate of $70 a month. Unfortunately, price discrepancies are very common. Cox's advertised rates can vary widely from what it actually charges. What you pay will be based on where you live. In Omaha, Cox is the only game in town, and they know it. They regularly raise their rates. When we call to complain, we're told it's just the cost of doing business. There have been times we've called in to request a lower rate, and they've given us $10 or so off for a month, but have been much less likely to do it in recent memory. Yeah, we wish we had more options, but it's what we're stuck with. If your needs are similar to ours, you would likely be fine with the preferred or perhaps the essential plan. If you have more people streaming or you do more gaming, which we really don't do much of, you may want the ultimate plan, which offers up to 500 Mbps download and 10 upload, or the Gigablast with one Gbps download speed and 35 Mbps upload speed. All Cox plans have data caps of 1.25 terabytes. While we don't like data caps, we've never hit ours. It's a pretty generous cap, so you're likely to be okay as well. If you stream live TV and watch four to six hours a day, that will eat up 200 to 300 gigs a month, which is well below Cox's limit. You should be able to stream 400 hours of high definition content and stay under the data cap. When looking at Cox plans in comparison to other ISPs, Xfinity and Spectrum offer faster download speeds at a lower cost. If you have the option to get one of those ISPs where you live, we would recommend them over Cox from a plans perspective. 
Yeah, now let's talk a little more about speed. Just as the actual price differs from the advertised price, actual speed varies too. The FCC found that Cox speeds are typically 77% of what is advertised. You can test your internet speed at fast.com or internetspeedtest.org. We tested on both sites and found pretty consistent results. On fast, we registered a download speed of 180 Mbps and an upload speed of 7.7. .7. Speed test registered a download speed of 177 and upload of 9.3. It's not at all uncommon for speed test results to vary depending on where your computer is in relation to your wireless router or the time of day. Given the FCC's report, we're actually getting less than 77% of Cox's advertised download speed of 250, since that would be 192. Again, Xfinity and Spectrum both have slightly faster speeds, so we would recommend them over Cox if you have the ability to get them. Let's take a look at a final factor, customer service. It's almost laughable to expect good service from a cable TV or internet provider. So you won't be surprised to learn that the ACSI, which measures customer service satisfaction for various industries, says the industry average for ISPs is 64 out of 100. Cox scored a 61. Verizon Fios scored the highest at 72. T-Mobile was next with 71. AT&T, Xfinity, and Spectrum all scored higher than Cox. Basically, customers give Cox a D in customer service, and we'd have to agree with that score. The most frustrating thing about our experience with Cox has been the fact that they raise rates every year without giving us better service, faster speeds, or more capabilities. They can do it too because they know there's no one else where we live who we could leave them for. They have us over a barrel and they know it. Yeah, so wrapping up our review, we'd give Cox a thumbs down against competitors on plans, price, speed, and service. Still, if they are an option where you live, you can try them out for a month and see what your experience is. Don't sign up for a plan that requires a year-long commitment and don't give in to their bundle pitches. Cox is big on trying to get you to save money by bundling your internet service with a Cox TV cable subscription. Don't give in to it. They've often tried to get us to bundle our internet with a home security system. It's completely unrelated and it just shows how badly Cox likes to bundle services to get you to stay with them. We know someone personally who was paying $300 a month for Cox internet and cable. They called to ask for a lower rate on internet and Cox said they already had the lowest rate by bundling. The thing is they don't watch cable TV. In fact, they also have a number of streaming service subscriptions. We told them what we pay for just internet and that by canceling cable with Cox, they could shave $200 or more off their monthly bill. They quit cable the next day. Yeah, so by all means, test Cox internet, but do not bundle. And try other ISPs in your area if you have multiple options. Don't be afraid to call and ask for lower rates or to try different ISPs to find the best plan at the best price for your specific needs. That does it for this review. Do you have Cox Internet? Let us know what you think of them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. And if you know someone who would benefit from this video, share it with them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.